Hey guys, what's up, Earth Tech? Today I'm just gonna go over a quick few differences between Marshmallow and Lollipop on the Galaxy Note 4. Some people wanted me to do the camera as well as do some benchmark tests. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at that as well as RAM management to see which one holds up better as far as keeping apps open for a longer period of time. So let's take a look at the <clears throat> camera. So the one on the right is of course a marshmallow. On the left we got Lollipop. Overall I did not notice any difference between the cameras. They have the same settings, they have the same features and everything. So no noticeable differences for me at least. And I can't tell as far as actually camera usage because I don't use the camera too often. But right here when taking a picture I've felt like the marshmallow one was taking them quicker because after the first one the left one kind of slowed down so now I'm just gonna run the N22 benchmark I'm not gonna make you guys wait through it so let's just take a look at the scores so first we first up we got lollipop on there we got 66,793 overall 3d score is 18,890 so Marshmallow did perform a little bit better, over 2,000 on the overall score and over 6,000 in the 3D score, which is great. CPU is about the same. RAM, it also did better. So 3D Mark, this is more of like GPU testing, see how fast it is. So overall, even in this one, Marshmallow did do better by about two over 200 almost 300 points so you got 1280 on marshmallow and you got 1206 on lollipop so let's just took, take a look at some of the other differences so in graphics we got 1314 so we'll just go with that 1314 for marshmallow and then let's see what we get on lollipop so we got 1171 so over 200 more points in here and as the same goes for the overall score so marshmallow seems to be performing better than lollipop did next we're just going to take a look at the ram management so i had a couple of the same apps open on both of the phones so let's see clock they're both there let's go to calculator they're both there let's type a couple numbers so we can come back to it later let's go back into lick deals i had them both open as you can see on lollipop i had to reload we're on marshmallow it's ready to go let's go back into um let's just do youtube so youtube had to reload as well on lollipop let's try let's try 3d benchmark so it's still open on Lollipop exactly where we had it. We're on Marsh or, or on Marshmallow. It's still open on Lollipop. It had to reload the whole app, it seems. Yeah, and that, that's taken quite some time. So RAM management seems to be better on Marshmallow. But let's keep going. Let's check a couple other apps. Let's go to Deal Finder. Deal Finder as well. It was already still open on Marshmallow where it was not on Lollipop. Go back to YouTube. YouTube still seems to be good. So I'm glad that they fixed the RAM management issue on Marshmallow when compared to Lollipop. Let's just go back into some of the other apps. Um, Slick Deals, it's still good. Let's try. 3D Bench. So 3D Bench, look at that. We just opened it. And right there, it's reopening up on Olipop again. We're on Marshmallow. It's still exactly where we had left it after we ran the test. Let's go to Calculator. Eh. It kind of had to reload, I guess, on Olipop, but it, it, the numbers were still there. All right, so now 3D Bench mark is open. Mm, let's try. Let's go to the clock. Clock had to practically reload on Olipop as well. So overall, Marshmallow seems to be doing a lot better. Look at that, same for YouTube again. YouTube, well, not fully, but it still did have to load a little bit. So overall, Marshmallow is a lot better performance-wise than Lollipop was. So I hope I helped some of you guys out who wanted to know whether you want to update or not. If I did, great. If not, then I apologize. <laughs> 
But yeah, let me let me know if you guys want to see anything else. Just leave it in the comments. I actually have a Facebook page now. So you can find the link in my channel on YouTube. As well as Instagram if you want to follow me there. The Instagram is more of my personal where Facebook I made just for this Earth Tech. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.